well, well, well. Well, 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 Ubisoft. Y'all have let me down, boy. Oh my gosh. Assassin's Creed Shadows is a shit show, man. And I made a video in full defense of Ubisoft. It made sense, bro. I'm an AC fan. It made sense. Logically. But I think they knew that as well. <sighs> and they thought maybe that many people won't question them shoehorning in bullshit and disrespecting Japanese culture, basing Yasuke off a character that was fabricated from Thomas Lockley, changing his Wikipedia pages. Oh my gosh, we're gonna watch this video um, by the Trent Report. I kind of like this. I don't know what just happened. Um, but I, um, what I was saying was we're going to watch a video from this guy named the Trent Report. Uh, I'm really liking his coverage of, uh, this game. So, the Japanese oh, are not happy with Let's Ubisoft get... and their upcoming game, oh, Assassin's Creed Shadows. Let's get the new info, a bro. Has been Let's talk about created. it calling for Ubisoft to immediately discontinue the creation of the game. And now we have a report from a Japanese YouTuber explaining why so many Japanese people are not happy with Assassin's Creed Shadows. And a lot of it has to do with there the was fact a that diss they are track butchering too. Japanese history and are doing it intentionally so. The Before diss track was this, tough. I'd like to ask you, please hit that subscribe. A petition that has been launched by Japanese players calling on Ubisoft to shut the game down, specifically uh, the, the game being Assassin's Creed Shadows. And they've also accused Ubisoft of insulting Japanese culture and history, which they claim can lead to racism. What was crazy, Asia. what was crazy was they have Southeast Asian, oh, excuse me. Oh. They have Southeast Asian monkeys that don't even exist in Japan. They had cherry blossoms blooming during rice harvesting rice harvesting season which doesn't happen um now it can be seen burning uh incense at a shrine that apparently you don't do they used a candle from uh, a, a temple that is very important to the nation of japan selling Z zoro sword <laughs> brother yeah. So this is what oh, the petition brother. reads as this. Recently, lack of historical accuracy and cultural respect has been a serious problem for game developer Ubisoft, which is scheduled to release Assassin's Creed Shadows. And it the wouldn't be a problem. The, Samurai of Japan. the historical accuracy wouldn't be a problem if Ubisoft didn't literally come out and say, oh, this is a historically accurate account of a lot of things that happened in Japan. You can learn history about this uh, from playing this game. Obviously not. And his skin was as black as ink, and he was about 1.82 meters tall. His name was Yasuke. So, again, no mention that he was a samurai or even any kind of warrior. Yeah, they just romanticized the uh, idea of a black Shoei dude in Japan. Goes on and says, Yasuke is the main character. Hundreds, if not thousands, of legendary Japanese warriors they could have picked from, and yet they chose That's Yasuke. That's what my homie Jalen was saying. And taking one look at him is enough to understand why they chose him. But it gets worse, because they, they didn't even adapt all the, the real Yasuke Japanese into history. the game. But they turned him into something he never was. A romanticized version of the historical character, that in this game gets the Depicted like the strongest samurai, even though he never even was a samurai in Japanese history, but a retainer. So of course Japanese people think this to be both, culturally insulting and also an outright attempt at historical revisionism. Let me read out what the Japanese another, create. Another issue of what they're of what they're doing though is they are making the Japanese nobility out to be like corrupt, scandalous people, and making Yasuke out to be some hero as he's slaughtering them. And it's just, it's just, it's done in very bad taste. ...of the petition I just showcased wrote in his description of its purpose. Yet while I'm able to speak multiple languages, Japanese sadly isn't one of them. So I had to translate it with online translators. So if there are some small grammatical errors, that's the reason why. But I'm sure you'll understand what they're saying just as I did. So they write, and I quote... 
Recently, a serious issue of historical accuracy and lack of cultural respect has been raised about the game developer Ubisoft's upcoming release, Assassin's Creed Shadows. The game is based on the subject of Japanese samurai and ignores the fact that samurai are a higher class of samurai and should be gokemono, or servants of nobility. <laughs> he looks In so fact, out of place. the first European to receive the title of samurai, William Adams, was a bannerman with 250 koku and served Tokugawa Ieyasu. Throughout this history, Ubisoft continues to misunderstand the nature and role of the samurai. This is a serious insult to Japanese culture and history and could lead to Asian racism. We demand that Ubisoft immediately stops far. the release of Assassin's Creed Shadows and shows serious but investigation and respect for Japanese history and culture. Somewhat. Your signature is needed. Sign this petition to let Ubisoft know the importance of cultural respect and historical accuracy." End quote. Cultural respect and historical accuracy seems to be of no importance at all to Ubisoft. They're more concerned with how they can score more brownie points, how they can pander and virtue signal to more groups of people. Their mind probably works like this. They look at the statistics of people that buy their games, and then they notice, oh hey, it's mostly men that buy Assassin's Creed. So how about mm -hmm. we add a female protagonist into the game? We'll get more women to buy our game. Oh, and it's also mostly white people that buy Assassin's Creed. So we will already get their money. So how about we boost the numbers of Just other keep it what it is, So that though. we can get more of their money as well. Like how about we make the setting of the game an Asian country. Asia is the continent with the most people living in it, which means the most potential customers. We'll get more Asians to give us their money. But wait, that's not enough. How about we take it one step further and make the main character of the game not an Asian guy, but a black man. We will garner the interest of more black people through that. Oh, and one how about we make one of the main characters one of the main characters you play as both bro is a member of the lgbt community we could also virtue signal to that community and get more money you can probably see what yeah, they're doing. making her the one thing they actually care about is their money they don't care about being accurate to history it's just or to be respectful to entire ethnicities or genders or happen, whatever they know, will act like they do but in reality in they really era. don't and assassin's creed shadows is a prime showcase of their money hungry attitude and their lack of respect to japanese people their culture and history it's a game that can definitely be described as racist against japanese and not just against them but against black people as well something that shines through also in the music choice yeah. they put into the game. Like playing a hip hop remix track whenever Yasuke is fighting. You know, yeah, that's because just he's crazy. Black. And black means hip hop. That's what went through Ubisoft's head. He's African. I've oh. been informed that uh, they showed off Yasuke gameplay today in Assassin's Creed Shadows and that when he fights, there is a hip hop soundtrack only for him. <laughs> <laughs> he's African. So it that I doesn't saw even it, but I didn't really see it. It doesn't even make I sense. This village. Not while I have breath in my lungs and a blade in my head. <laughs> they got the 808s while he's just murking <laughs> Japanese people. Look at that, bro. Brought that's, to you by. That's, that's crazy, bro. You get in a car with them, they turn on the hip hop channel, and then they look at you. This one's for you. Who do you think you are? Oh my god, bro. The monkeys will love oh, this one. Oh, yeah. I mean, what else would there be? <laughs> that is really something special, man. You know, Ubisoft was Those like, dudes are that person in Japan? let's play the hip-hop Japanese string instruments remix. This one's for you, fellow black people. Bro. Meanwhile, they forgot that Yasuke is just African oh and not African-American. So then I'm even saying. thinking of blasting a hip-hop song just because he's black is racist in itself. And remember, these are the How people you know he that think black that they are morally you and intellectually he's black? superior to you. These are the people who blame you and call you a racist when you don't like She's their game. She's torn Meanwhile, up, their bro. game being one of the most racist games of this generation, filled with stereotypes, historical inaccuracies, and false depictions of a nation, its people, and its history. I mean, they're even so incredibly dumb and lazy that they sent out special edition box sets of the game to Japanese streamers and yet were too incompetent that. to make sure that the symbols on the box sets are even real Japanese. It which, like guess Chinese what, kanji. it wasn't. So the Japanese streamers, which are of course able to read Japanese, immediately began sharing on social media how like, the bro, symbols that were put onto the boxes that? don't even make any sense. Ubisoft sent a special Assassin's Creed statue to streamers in Bro, Japan. Bro, are they even thinking? It did not go well. Why not? What'd they do wrong? Context. 
People are collectively roasting Ubisoft after they sent these special edition statues to Japanese streamers. Unfortunately, Ubisoft forgot that these people can actually read Japanese, and the streamers that received it were quick to point out how these strange symbols made no sense. But why would anyone be surprised about this when this is the expert in Japanese history that they hired for the game? Uh, historian for a consultant about this game. My first yeah, book, Tales crazy. of Idealized yeah, that's crazy. Boys, that's Male, crazy. Male, Male Love in Medieval Japanese that's crazy. Narratives. That's crazy. That's crazy. Which is How in the hell is your uh, your niche specified field of study? <laughs> oh. Why? Why is your field of study Japetophiles? Japetophiles in feudal Japan. Why is that your field of study? And why were you this hired? It often depicts romantic relationships between Buddhist priests and ad- Ubisoft is hiring the most family, incompetent family, people into family. such high positions. This woman, who's allegedly an expert on Japanese history, isn't even able to read Japanese and couldn't tell them that those symbols aren't Japanese symbols. And she apparently also knows nothing of samurai history or Japanese culture, considering how many things in the game don't make any sense. Ubisoft didn't pick the best person for the job, oh but they apparently only gosh. picked her because she's an Asian woman that aligns with the studio politically. They seemingly did that with all the people that worked on the game. And now people in Japan and across the world are calling it out for being disrespectful, racist and lazy garbage. Oh my god, do people keep complaining over getting free shit? I don't think people are complaining about it being free shit. The reason why people are mad about this is because it's another example of a bunch of white people getting together and thinking that they're doing minorities a favor by turning them into cartoon it's versions pity. of themselves and not treating oh, them like real monkey. people. They have no little actual monkey, appreciation look. Look or intrinsic got, respect the for the culture that they're trying to appropriate and turn into guy? a marketing vehicle. They don't actually care about the minorities. They don't actually give a shit about diversity. Here, Ubisoft development team. It's all white people. It's all white people. And so I think people are tired of having they people like that make a fucking video game under the false pretense of virtue. They can't all even get it right. Look... Like they can't even correctly appropriate the culture. And then <laughs> Yosuke is in combat with the boss and it starts playing this hip hop theme. Like, oh yeah, because black people like hip hop. Uh-huh. Yeah, you know who thinks that? A group full of completely fucking white developers that has no actual interactions with minorities, and they're sitting there and they're Asmongold thinking, oh, they'll like this. Spitting, He's not even brother. African American. Exactly. And that's the best thing about it's like whenever I feel like you're right, it's like you're right in like more ways. You're right in like all of these serendipitous they, reasons. They can't it's even like, oh, confirm never that he's from also Africa. True. This is also true, and that's also true. It's just so weird, man. He could have been Cuban right a lot of or this. Dominican. White developers trying to panda by making up random kanji characters that don't mean anything and sending them to Japanese streamers is one of the most hilariously stupid fails I've ever seen. And it's true that for some reason, many oh white people feel like gosh, they constantly have to brother. virtue signal to showcase to the world how tolerant and inclusive they are towards the minorities in their countries. And yet, not all are like that, of course. The irony is that Sucker Punch, the devs who made Ghost of Tsushima, were mainly white. But they cared so much about respecting the history and culture Ghost of Japan Tsushima is that not only the game, game ended bro. up becoming a huge success, but it caused tourism on Tsushima Island to spike. And the Japanese then made the game's director the island's ambassador. So there are clearly dev teams out there that get it. But Ubisoft isn't one of them. Quite on the contrary. Something that's now even going so far that Japanese politicians are announcing to investigate the situation surrounding the game. Because they're is accusing his name it of cultural theft. Because people keep or discovering Tatsumi new scandals from um Konosuba. Rounding so this funny. Game. I mean Ubisoft even goes as far as to steal items from other properties and illegally uh, use it for their game without much permission. The, pretty much they the stole gist. Zoro's sword from one. Like, it seems like Ubisoft. Seems like they fucked up. Let's just say that. So this no is what's Ailey, kind bro. of funny about this. The katana and Yasuke's mask, or even the artwork from the game. So this is the artwork here. You guys see this? Doesn't it look exactly like the sword of Zoro, a character from One Piece? And then are those the exact same symbols? So it's got the K, the upside down Y, and then the box with the shit in it. And then like the, the one that looks like a piranha plant. <laughs> the box with the shit in it.
<laughs> is crazy. The same stand is nuts. I'm going to say it. I think they did it. Because I don't think... The same stand is crazy, brother. Japanese oh, nah, Ubisoft. Oh, this shit might be... D-O-A. Yikes.